Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Keep walking. Hopefully this dog does not attack us. He's not sure. Street dogs. Hello everyone, uh, this is Ronan Blue here in Hua Hin, Thailand. Uh, so today's uh, plan is uh, we're going to a fresh seafood market called Khao Pakiab. Hopefully I pronounced it right. I'm still getting used to uh, being here in Thailand and uh, figuring out the, the language, but hopefully I have, um, I pick up on uh, how to pronounce things in uh, Thailand. But I'll make sure to write down uh, the descriptions uh, down here. So yeah, anyways, uh, let's get going. It's a very beautiful day here in Hua Hing, and uh, we're really looking forward to uh, what's going to happen today. So there's actually a lot of uh, taxi services and um, tours here in Hua Hing. So here is uh, some of the popular places in Hua Hing that you can go and visit. Um, Cicada Market is a, a place we're looking to go uh, later this week. But uh, yeah, there's uh, a, a lot of attractions here. I just walked into the streets of uh, Hua Hing. Um, there's this really nice breeze that comes through and that's because there's an ocean just around the corner there uh, that we're looking to visit pretty soon here. So one of the reasons why we're going to a uh, seafood fresh market there is because that's what um, one of the things that uh, Hua Hing is very popular for, uh, for its seafood markets. Um, a lot of the uh, people from Bangkok actually drive all the way down to Hua Hing uh, for a short little uh, weekend trip. And what they do is they come down here to eat the seafood. So. It's a great place to uh, try out some seafood and that's what we're looking to do later on here. But one thing that I do see is uh, there's actually uh, dogs just running loose on the streets. I'm not sure if they actually have any actual owners. I just found this uh, truck full of coconuts. The guy's holding a monkey. <laughs> It's a baby monkey. Uh, who needs a grocery store when you have these uh, shops on the sides of the streets? There's a truck here full of uh, bananas. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty fresh as well. There's um, what looks like mangoes, but I'm not sure. Papaya maybe? Oranges? Other kinds of vegetables? And chilies as well and garlic? Yeah. It's a dog there. The dog there as well, minding their own business, I guess. Some grilled intestine, maybe, or pork. But uh, this is a nice little hawker style that's right near our Airbnb. So if we get hungry, we can just come by here and grab some of this stuff, and it's pretty affordable, too. So uh, along the way, there's a whole bunch of uh, Western uh, style restaurants close by as well. So in all in walking distance. And then you have the uh, Thai restaurants along the way as well. Has some uh, rental spots. 
and right below it there's a convenience store it's a nice place to um to stay there's also uh apartments for rent as well with a sea view well as i was uh, walking down the street i just uh, met a snowbird and uh yeah you just kind of recognize that we we're tourists i guess and uh he just kind of stopped us and started having a conversation with us uh, we found out he is from uh, canada um white horse uh yeah and he's very uh, informative as well he was just telling us about the area uh, how of how he's been in uh Pahing for 40 years now and uh, how he's seen the development in this city and you know we he was just sitting at a coffee uh shop there and he, he was explaining the whole area didn't even exist 40 years ago and he loves having to come to Hua Hing like uh, every year for at least seven months and uh, he mentioned that he loves how the city slowly starts to develop and uh, out of all the Asian countries he's been to uh, he mentioned that Hua Hing is his most uh, favorite place to come and it's really relaxed and yeah I like to try all the places that he mentioned and um, you can tell that he had a lot of experience and, and you can tell that uh, he had a lot of uh, travel experience as well. So I'm really looking forward to Hua Hing. It kind of motivated me. It looks like uh, you can rent some uh, scooters here as well uh, for days or weeks or months. Um, well, I did bring my uh, international driver's license but um, I'm not really comfortable with uh, driving a scooter. Um, just because there's just a lot of accidents that are involved with them. So I'd rather um, rent a car or something, maybe one of these days, uh, once we become more uh, accustomed to just the communities around the central area of Hua Hing, uh, maybe we'll venture out outside of the city and uh, see whether we can travel out there and with a rent a car instead. But uh, we're gonna figure that out later. Just by walking down the streets, we found this. So we, we can see the ocean and this is the first time for us to see the Gulf of uh, Thailand, the ocean. So let's see what we find over there. Well, it's part of the, the ocean, but there's definitely no beach at all. Yeah, it looks a little dangerous actually. Rough, but still very beautiful. So although uh, Hua Hing is known as a beach town, um, it, it actually isn't a place where you can actually hop into the ocean. And it's probably good for uh, surfing. But um, the well-known uh, beaches would be uh, way down south where Phuket and uh, Krabi Town and uh, Koh Samui and Koh Phanang are. Those are the really popular destinations uh, where you see the white sand beaches. Um, I think there are white sand beaches here. I uh, just haven't really found one just yet. But just uh, walking through the streets here, you'll find uh, condos that are for sale. Um, just by walking down any street, you'll find these signs and uh, rental signs as well. It's like these uh, seafood places as well. Pa Soy Seafood. Looks like there's a beach here as well, but you have to pay for the sunbed. It's a hundred baht and then a uh, beach chair for 50 baht. This uh, cafe is new, uh, right next to the beach that we're just about to see. Uh, let's check it out. Maybe it's a better view than what we saw previously. So here's the beach of uh, Hua Hing, part of it anyways. Along the, the coastline goes all the way down over in that direction there. Uh, I actually have the wind muff on. Hopefully you're not hearing too much of the wind. But there's a really nice hotel over there and you can kind of see the uh, a Buddha structure in the far distance 
I think that's where, that's the place that that uh, Canadian guy was saying were monkeys or something like that. Not sure if we'll go as far as that, but maybe. But the breeze is very, very cool and refreshing here. You know, it's uh, 87 degrees Fahrenheit, but the wind is so cool, you don't even feel that at all. It's, uh, it's a nice feeling actually. You can also hear the uh, sounds of uh, the cicada as well. Uh, hopefully you can hear it. You can travel around with bicycle as well in Hua Hing. Here. This guy seems friendly but waving his tail.